Stephanie from ModCityMag.com. We are here at Lincoln Hall in Chicago, and I'm here with Green River Williams. You guys are in the midst of the second part of your fall tour, mm -hmm. um, promoting Under Fire. Yeah. What have been some highlights so far? Well, I'll tell you a highlight. We just, we're at Lincoln Hall, and Lincoln Hall is probably one of the best venues for headlining wise. Take care of you, great food. We had a great food before. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. I would say that's tonight today's been pretty good. I was looking at your schedule and you guys are about to head southeast. And with Sandy, has that influenced your routing your shows at all? Uh, we're supposed to play New York next weekend. Right? Mm -hmm. We don't know. Don't know. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna have power. Playing it by ear. To be determined. Yeah. We'll see. Well, um, yeah, it's probably ending this tour then, right before the holidays. Any holiday traditions or plans coming up? Thanksgiving. Hey, what do you do for Thanksgiving? Get the PJs on, put the slippers on. <laughs> <laughs> what about favorite well, Thanksgiving food? The ISIS, ISIS have a really good tradition. So, uh, I don't know how it started. But it's, it's on like my dad's side, the ice side. But every, the day before Thanksgiving, the Wednesday night before, we do pork and sauerkraut, mm -hmm. which is like a really weird meal. It's a German meal. Okay. They're not German, so my grandma's from like Louisiana. It's Louisiana. <laughs> but it's like an ice family tradition to do a pork and sauerkraut dinner and uh, invite like everyone you know. So everyone always comes from the ice house, like big deep. It's like pork and sauerkraut. It's really fun. Just traditional things you yeah, really do. I'm running a 5K. Uh, my wife, yeah, my wife's uh, family decided that it was a great idea after the day before Thanksgiving to run a 5K. 5,000 miles. Right, after you're done eating. So are you going to scale back on the food or are you just going to eat? I'll be going for it. I've been trained a bit. Is it before or after you? I'm hopefully. I think it's while you're eating, right? Yeah, I think <laughs> you have to eat a turkey leg while you run. It's like called a turkey trot. You get some gravy like in your water bottle. I'm going to yeah, have some. Some uh, dressing on the side. We do the we do the turkey truck. Yeah. Cool. I didn't know this about y'all. I'm discovering yeah, things. There you go. Last year I ran the First turkey truck and we thought it'd be a good idea to bring my dog and I ended up having to carry my dog on my shoulders. No. 2013 is approaching. Are you guys planning to take a break? More touring? Another new album? All of the above. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to take a break. Then we're going to record a new album. Just a new EP. Like a new EP. I don't like the morning passengers. Two. We'll do some training between there. We'll do start writing and recording for the record. And while doing radio on the fire. And it's just we're just trying to keep it all. All going. Just say all four burners. Cooking on all four burners. Yeah. Another thing I want to forget. Hope grows. G R O S. Hope grows. Are you guys still working with that? Yeah. Can you explain a little about that? Well, we all picked, um, we all individually picked our favorite charities, and we started a website where we released this music that you can't get anywhere else, and when you buy it, 100% of the proceeds go to one of those charities. You pick which one it is. So, I chose Autism Speaks, the uh, Free the Reason Free. I did Charity Water, the National Justice Mission. New York. And it's cool, just a cool way for us to give back on something. We're big fans of music and music to just push back the darkness of the world and it's a cool opportunity for us to give the fans some songs they might not have and at the same time do it sometimes. Um, Christy behind the camera actually had um, we posted on Facebook and Twitter asking people to questions for you guys. So she had okay, so Sam Maslin says that your Love Lies Down song? From your Under Fire album was really influential in her life. She was curious, is there any kind of spiritual or religious story behind that song? Oh, like, okay. yeah, I would say that's one of the, that was a fun song to work on. Jamie had that mandolin to live at the house and just kind of slowly progressed. We weren't even sure if we were going to finish it for the record. But yeah, that song is, uh, it's a song kind of about, it's a, uh, taken from the fall of man in the garden to redemption. And it's like the whole story of just inevitably the pursuit to find wholeness and identity and kind of that wholeness is found in Jesus, so it's kind of redemption from the fall to redemption. Sweet. And then, okay, you can play any instrument you want, 
Talent is no um, obstacle. What is your fantasy instrument lineup for a song? Ooh. I wish I could play pedal steel. That's like my favorite instrument. Wish I could play violin. Yeah? Classical piano. Should play the bass. <laughs> the string bass or the electric bass? <laughs> no talent. I mean, if you have just as much talent as possible, choose this. It's not a good job. But thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. It. Yeah. Yes. Appreciate it. Good luck on your surgery. Thank you so much.